Hello guys, this is Colin and today I'm going to show you my 11th round of Deadmines for my series called 11 of Dungeon, is it worth? I did Black Fathom Deeps and Black Rock Depths and now it is Deadmines. So I did 10 rounds of it to see the path and the path is pretty simple, you just get inside, kill everything and then if you run a monk you Zen Pilgrimage, if you're not you just go to the other end because it has another exit and fly back and get inside and so on. In 10 runs, I got a loot that I'm the value of 18k. Yet the items are worth like mostly 5k. And in 10 runs, 5k is not a good value. But I'm going to show you my path anyway. I'm using a monk, Bert Altar. Um, talents are the same Cheat Torpedo, Statue, and Rushing Jade Wind. This dungeon is pretty simple and it has a Defias set, you know, that black leather set which is pretty cool but if you don't get any of it in 10 runs I don't think it's worth. Here you'll kill this boss, wait for it to die because it has like this animation, this cinematic part, loot it for some transmog that you might not have and that gold which is not that much get here and if you're a monk or whatever hide after this thing activate ration gate wind kill everything and let that monk escape if it does loot everything and the reason we came here and wait here is for this chest this is like the only thing in this dungeon that actually drops something that you might want to put on the auction house and not even that because it drops let's say items worth like 500 gold or something here you'll put a statue here and kill this boss and the other boss that drops from him and here you just take everything I guess this is a good dungeon if you want to farm some fast reputation with someone but I think there are better ways to do that here you just take all these watchers and reapers kill them and wait for the faux reaper 5000 to activate and in the meantime all the guys will get here kill him loot him if you want and then move over put a statue here so you can aggro everything and now in order to open this door you need to press on this cannon you get a little, a little bit of damage, but that doesn't matter. And you don't have to aggro all these parrots because they don't drop anything good. The pet drops from pirates, actually, so these parrots are mostly useless. But if, again, if you want to farm some reputation, you might want to take them. They give a little bit of reputation. And take everything here. Go back. Aggro everything again. You don't want to let any of them escape because the loot tables are not that good, <laughs> and you might want you might not want to miss any of them in order to get actually something that is worth. Yeah, that mean I'll rip snarl if you're a uh, horde or alliance too. I do not know. I don't have any alliance yet. Loot everything. I got two black water cutlasses, but they are useless because they are like 50 gold on the ocean now. So yeah, you don't want to pose that. And I get here, you just jump over here, 
kill everything. And that's it. Then, if you're not a monk, and you don't have the Zen Pilgrimage spell, you might want to hop on your mount. Get over here to this entrance. And this is it. This is the exit. I will show you what's outside and how to get back to. You just go out a small cave. Here you can hop on your mount again because you're in the outworld. And then you just get back to the house that you entered. This one. By the way, the farm is located in Eastern Kingdom, Westfall, and right here. Get inside the house. Go on the stairs. Get here and just jump down. And from this moment on, you can use your map in order to get to the dungeon and just follow the path that's closest. Get here. Jump here. And this is it. This is the dungeon entrance. So, in 11 runs, 18k looted item value is not that good. So, in my opinion, I think that Dead Mines is not worth your time. You can do something else with your time. You can go in Black Rock Depths if you want, because there, in 10 runs, you had like 200k item value. And you had a lot of items to fill up your auction house, and a lot of items that are worth 10k or more, 5k or more. Items that are worth 25k. And a lot of items that are even worth 1k but they are good to fill up your auction house and you're not wasting your time literally you're not while in black phantom dips or dead mines you are and it doesn't fill up your inventory at all with bad items because if you would i was like okay then maybe it has some potential in it for the beginners to fill up your auction house but it doesn't it doesn't fill up any inventory and all you do all you get that's worth put on your auction house are these pair of cages and maybe some patterns some recipes you know nothing else that's worth so I'm not saying to not farm it but don't farm it <laughs> um, don't forget to like subscribe and share and see you in another episode